right guys, so this is a two week update from the last uh, garden tour and it's pretty striking the, the difference that two weeks will do last uh, two weeks ago these were just little buds no no leaves were on it yet but as you can see now all the or most of the leaves have opened up and they're ready to photosynthesize Japanese maple once again highly recommended zone 8b and then uh, also I like the, the contrast here from the like again two weeks ago these were just little you could just see them kind of sprouting out, but now look, you can see the contrast between the lighter colored new leaves and the and the older waxy leaves on this Petosporum. I really like it. I'm seriously thinking about getting more because just the, the, the green is so, it's such a strong green, you know? And uh, that's pretty striking, I, I believe. And then here, the Japanese Aurelia. Once again, this year, it, um, it did pretty good because I covered it with a trash can and I didn't lose most of it and then you see all the, the leaves right here there's like five or six just coming out on this one one stem and then on this side you got another five or six so this is gonna be a pretty good year for it this is also the two-week update for this limelight hydrangea hydrangea paniculata that I I'm trying to do tree form which I cut the, you, you see the video that I just did last time but I did this two weeks ago, and obviously it's doing pretty good. And uh, you can see how, how much it's grown. And again, here's the Nightlight Cami Cypress, also doing good. And then the other one, the other Limelight Hydrangea. It got new leaves all the way down to the, basically almost to the, to the base of the plant. I really like the way it's breaking apart here it's splitting uh, it's gonna have two uh, bunches of flowers here they're gonna be kind of light green and then they become white as the season see this one's gonna have two also one here this one uh, limelight hydrangea we're not familiar with it it develops flowers at the end of each stem so it's it's gonna look like a pretty good year here's an update on the rose of Sharon once again this one only had like the buds on the end but now you can see most of the leaves have come out. They're still pretty small, but all the way down to the base. And this one's like four feet tall. So it just keeps on getting better and better every year. The Sunshine Ligustrum, obviously this does well here. I'm not really worried about it. I transplanted this one this year. I was a little bit concerned, but um, it's very hardy. You can transplant it easily. I wasn't too careful with it and it still did pretty good. This is a small butterfly bush, Woodleia. I think I'll move it a little bit over, but obviously it's doing pretty good. And then the Laura Petalum, I really, I'm really enjoying the way it's getting more um, darker. The purple colors are really coming through. And then look at the fig. Once again, the leaves. This is just two weeks ago. If you look at the other video, you can see the difference. And then just. Over here we got the Bubba Desert Willow. It's starting to also leaf out a lot more than it did last time. It's a little slow leafing out, but I think it's going to be a pretty good addition this year. And then I got a little container area here. Alocasia Odora doing pretty good. That's a new begonia I just got yesterday. And uh, I'm trying, I've never really done coleus, so we'll see how that looks. But also another sunshine ligustrum, which I am going to plant over there in that area. But I just have it here in the container for now. But so far, so good. Two-week update. It's looking good. Until next time.